Hello, welcome to another talk on money, business, and investing. My name is Jose, I'm the founder of the company and brand here at Master Investor. If you're new to our community, ensure to subscribe and follow us on all other social media platforms. Turn on the notifications so that you know when we go live or upload a valuable video or talk that can change our life forever financially. As long as we apply the information, right? That's how we turn information or existing knowledge from somebody else into our own knowledge. If we just read it, listen to it, and don't do anything with it, then it's just somebody else's knowledge. Let's make sure that we are using other people's knowledge to make it ours. By applying it in our lives, we need to put it into practice. Today, we're going to be speaking about the difference between crypto and stocks. Remember, there are different asset classes that exist. Crypto is a different asset class than paper assets or the stocks, right? So... Learn why we should not be treating crypto like a stock. There are two different asset classes, which both require financial education to succeed. So stocks belong to the asset class of paper assets and crypto is, is an um, asset class. And today crypto is a currency. It's not just an asset class and an asset that we can invest in to get capital gains income. Today we can actually create cash flow with crypto and use it as a form of payment between businesses and peer-to-peer etc we're going to learn some of the differences between the two assets if you have any questions make sure to write it down in the comment section check out the links in the description to have access to our digital courses we have three ebooks right now the 10 new rules of money how to build cash flow with the internet turn passive income on how to invest in crypto to build wealth understanding bitcoin and blockchain it is critical that we expand our financial IQ daily, okay? And the only way to do that is by seeking or acquiring financial education. And we need to invest in different mentors, different products, seminars, classes that can help us understand how to invest properly in whatever asset class we wanna get involved. As we move forward and we create success in one asset class, we need to diversify into a different asset class. The goal and the objective here to build true wealth is that we have different assets producing passive income constantly to us. And of course, some assets will produce capital gains income from different asset classes. It's not just one asset class, okay? We want to diversify among the five different asset classes that exist today. Summary, we can survive a financial disaster by being aware of financial bubbles. Financial bubbles come and go, therefore we need to be able to move when and how. To get financial bubbles, we must invest in our financial education. When it comes to investing, we have five asset classes today that we can invest in. They are number one, business, number two, real estate, number three, crypto, number four, paper assets, number five, commodities, like gold, silver, paper, um, precious metals. Having a portfolio that is diversified among these asset classes, it is how we achieve true wealth. By having investments in all the asset classes, it will provide us with constant positive cash flow, or also known as passive income, and capital gains income. While many will suffer due to the fact that they only focus on diversifying within the same asset class, the stock market is an example as many people tend to diversify in the stock market thinking that that will succeed when the stock market crashes the investor loses everything when we look closer we will realize that the stock market and cryptocurrency are fundamentally different from each other it would be easier for us to manage and invest in cryptocurrencies if we are aware of these distinctions so let's examine in more detail the seven main differences between the two and their significance for individuals who are new to cryptocurrency will have some expertise with traditional trading. Are we prepared to compare stocks and cryptocurrencies? Now let's get started. Self-custody. The main distinction between stocks and cryptocurrency is self-custody. When we purchase a share of stock in the past, we would receive a tangible paper stock certificate that could keep in a safe that we could keep in a safe, right? To show proof that we have that stock. 
This gave us the ability to keep our stock in our own hands. Buying stock in a company these days is usually done through a broker, such as Robinhood, Vanguard, or Fidelity. The stock is held in a custody by the broker, and we are given rights of ownership that let us buy, sell, and take part in dividend payments and voting. It can take many days to transfer our stocks from one broker to another, which is a laborious process. It might also have limitations and costs from the new brokerage company we have selected. In the realm of cryptocurrencies, we can choose to maintain our tokens on the exchange, much like stocks, or we can transfer our cryptocurrency into a wallet where we can access and retain the keys. This is known as self-custody. There are no outside parties engaged. Crypto holders who decide to take their cryptocurrency off exchange are in charge of maintaining their private keys and choosing safe storage options like hardware wallets or secure app crypto wallets in contrast to stocks maintained by banking institutions. Swaps, exchanges, and peer-to-peer. Selling the stock within the exchange is the only way we may exercise control over our ownership rights when it comes to stock exchanges. In other words, the stock market serves as a go-between for us and the buyer. Crypto, on the other hand, provides more possibilities. Peer-to-peer -peer networks, decentralized exchange, DEX, and the ability to use cryptocurrency as collateral and borrow Another cryptocurrency and its steed are available options in addition to centralized exchanges that provide a more conventional trading experience. This gives us more freedom and agency when it comes to handling and trading our cryptocurrency holdings. Liquidity and value. Purchasing stock entitles us to a portion of the company's earnings and physical assets. In the end, the company's ability to produce things or provide customers with services determines the stock price, as does the likelihood of future growth. Because there's now a lot of more data available to influence investment decisions based on historical performance, investing in stocks is now safer due to the fact that we all have access to the information. Conversely, cryptocurrencies are digital assets that are usually backed by no tangible assets, though some such tokens backed by gold may. It is its utility, adoption rate, liquidity, and primarily speculation determine its worth. Cryptocurrency is a more volatile asset class since it lacks actual assets, trading fees. Depending on the number of circumstances, including network congestion, congestion and the trading platform being used, the fees related to transactions in the cryptocurrency market can vary significantly. Cryptocurrency trading fees might include extra expenses such as exchange fees, withdrawal fees, and network fees, often referred to as gas fees. In contrast to traditional stock market, where brokerage fees are typically standardized. The real cryptocurrency must be used to pay these fees, which may have an impact on profitability. For example, we will end up spending more money relative to the tokens dollar worth if the value of a well-known cryptocurrency like Ethereum, ETH, rises and we wish to trade a token that runs on the Ethereum network. This is because gas fees will have increased. Trading times. The fact that trading is allowed on the cryptocurrency market 365 days a year, 24 hours a day, is one of its primary advantages. This sets cryptocurrency apart from conventional stock markets which have set trading hours every day of the year. The risk of volatility is always present with this kind of continuous trading but cryptocurrency traders reduce this risk by putting automatic stop losses in place that trigger token sales if prices fall below a certain threshold. 
guidelines and policies. Although there are strict legal frameworks that must be followed for both stocks and cryptocurrencies, traditional markets have more defined boundaries than cryptocurrency. While some nations have chosen to embrace cryptocurrencies more, others have, others have placed severe limitations or outright bans on a specific cryptocurrency related activity. For anyone involved in the cryptocurrency market, understanding how to navigate the regulatory landscape has become crucial to maintaining compliance and managing any potential legal concerns. The regulations governing the cryptocurrency industry are always changing and adapting to the ever evolving sector. Proof of work and proof of stake are two methods used by cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum to guarantee the authenticity of transactions and network security. Their value is independent of company's performance, unlike stocks, rather smart contracts are used in consensus processes control the creation and allocation of these coins. These mechanisms occasionally provide cryptocurrency based incentives to users who practice in the network by staking or mining. The focus of digital currency is on initiatives and community interaction. This technique aims to encourage more individuals to become involved in the Bitcoin ecosystem by holding tokens or mining blocks. Crypto is the new money or currency in town. Despite their differences, both stocks and cryptocurrency have significant places in the investment world. We strongly advise all to learn about the philosophy and background of cryptocurrencies in order to fully comprehend their purpose before we decide to take a chance on the trillion and lucrative world of investing. Although a token's value is significant, its mission and community involvement should also be taken into account. As we know today, crypto is a currency, the new money in town. We must master it in order to become wealthy with the proper handle of it. Last year, the US Congress recognized crypto as a currency, but not only here, we have seen other countries around the world doing the same. In regards to the crypto being a currency, just like the US dollar, everything is going digital in this new world, and we need to make sure to take advantage of all the tools we have available to us today. We can become wealthy faster than ever before due to technology and artificial intelligence. The person who is working at a job should only do so if he or she loves the job because, he, because we have the ability to do what we love and make a fortune with it by simply putting systems in place with a strong brand behind it that people wish to become part of it. Today we have more opportunities than ever before due to the access of information. And that is a fact. We can look back 100, 300, 500, 1000 years. Everything was more difficult because the communication speed wasn't there. It was very slow compared to what it is now. So we have more tools that can literally put us in front of billions of people. And as long as we have a good service, a good product with systems in place that is literally solving a problem for people, then we can definitely reap the rewards of total freedom, which comes from excess of passive income from our businesses that we have, that we control, and we have total freedom. Those are real assets. They don't require us, require us to be there to make the money because an asset is a business or an investment that makes us passive income passive income or passive cash flow while we're sleeping, while we're not working, right? That's a true asset. It's making us wealthy. Like it's made paying us money. We're receiving money from an asset. If it's not doing that, then it's not an asset. We cannot call it an asset. People talk about, oh, it's going up in value. No, it's not an asset until it put literally currency into our pocket, okay? And it's a liability if it's just taking money out of our pocket. And there's nothing wrong with having liabilities. It's not about shrinking, it's not about cutting expenses. It's always about expending. Truly, if we think about it, the world is 
you know, striving to have more at the end of their lives. Majority of people, I'd say 97% of population are literally thinking, saving money, cutting expenses by the end of their lives, right? It's not supposed to be like that. We're supposed to be uh, the other way around, right? The older we get, the more freedom we have, the more excess of cash flow we have because we understand the game. We understand the rules and we're investing for passive income. We're playing with the rules of the wealthy, which are available to everybody to use. We have access to this information and you're having it right now by listening to our podcast and become a member of Master Investor. We all have an investor inside of us and Master Investor's mission is to elevate the financial well-being of humanity. Through high quality financial education made simple, we look at opportunities to build passive income and true wealth. It takes time to build a great leader, but with effort, putting attention to what matters, prioritizing the correct actions daily will help us become that leader much faster. And with the help of technology, artificial intelligence, we can tap into unlimited wealth and have total freedom and be able to do what we love. Even we may not get paid for at the beginning, we're still doing it because we love it and we have the time because we have money coming in from our assets in the form of passive income and capital gains income. That's a whole different lifestyle than the person that works a nine to five their entire life to retire at 65 and by that time everything is different you cannot do you know or enjoy the same things i guess you can but it's not the same the idea is to retire now tap into total freedom take advantage of the new rules of money utilize the corporate law and the tax code to become wealthy use debt to minimize taxes to become wealthy because there are two types of debt good debt and bad debt good debt goes hand to hand with assets and bad debt goes hand to hand with liabilities when we want a liability when we want to have something in our lives that is just for fun or as a hobby and it's not going to produce really any wealth for us it's just going to produce a sense of happiness because we want to have whatever that may be and we can have anything that we want as long as we build the assets and we learn how to acquire assets that produce passive income and capital gains income because when we achieve that then we can literally acquire any asset that will pay for any type of luxury or liability that we would like to have in our lives so everything will be paid by our businesses revenue and our investments that are producing passive income and capital gains income those are the two types of income that comes from investing passive income and capital gains income. Financial education is the best type of education that we can get out of the three. Academic, they're all important, but the most important one of all is financial education, okay? If you don't have academic education, professional education, but you do have financial education, then we can still get into the top of this world, meaning that we'll be able to live with total freedom, achieve what we want, and et cetera, because in the real world, we're playing with money all the time, regardless whether we like it or not, okay? People going to work every day, leaving the things that they love the most at home to go work for a paycheck, to go make that money to pay for the bills, to put a roof over their head, etc. But it's really that the life to live. Some of them just doing it just to pay the bills. That's it, they don't love what they do. And for those people, we need to make a change quickly. We need to start investing, we need to course get financial education invest in that and put investing as a priority and becoming wealthy as number one priority and that takes courage it takes effort it takes energy it takes commitment it takes a discipline self-love saying no to fun things or distractions to protect our deeper yes because we are striving to become the best version of ourselves so we are not average individuals and we may look crazy for other people out there but we don't care what other people think because when we listen to other people's opinions too much we become the prisoner and when it comes to building our businesses it's like anything else we may fail a few times but we just have to be right one time to make it so while we're failing our way to success we have to have thick skin we talk about it all the time because people will judge very quickly and a lot of people like to 
give their opinion when somebody's down. Okay, and so we just need to persevere, hone down on what matters. We understand that on the right side of the cash flow circle, that's where total freedom is and to well build on the right side of the cash flow circle. That's when we tap into total freedom. That's what we're doing, what we're doing, right? To solve problems in the world, to leave a good impact in our generations, right? Whichever that may be, it could be many generations to come. And hopefully we are building true brands that can be here forever. Even after we're gone, not just companies to make money. Every business is built to solve a problem in the world. Okay, so which problem do we want to solve? And of course, the business has to be built with the structure of race and capital from the front end, meaning that we have sales funnels, we have marketing, we have systems bringing in direct sales constantly, every second. And then on the back end of the business, because the legalities are in order, the business indeed has business integrity, is for a profit, it's making a profit, and it has intrinsic value. The legalities are in order, we're protecting the logo, patents if they, we need to, intellectual property, everything is documented, and so now it has become a true brand because no one can take what we're doing, right? And it's not just a commodity, it's literally a true brand. So now it has value for other businesses and other people and other lenders to look into that business and say, you know what, I wanna be part of this business growth. I would like to come in with this amount of money, right? And so we can actually raise capital, raise loans, from the back end of the business. So the business needs to be built with the sense of raising capital from the front end and from the back end. And what's the job number one of a wealthy entrepreneur? To raise capital. Master the ability to raise capital. Okay, using borrow funds, right? All the people's money, OPM, because we're going to the bank, we're getting credit cards, we're using personal loans, business on any type of borrow funds. And we got to turn that into passive income and we have to put that into the right assets so it will produce enough income to pay for the debt service, the interest, and of course, leave us with positive cash flow. We can become wealthy faster than ever before due to technology and artificial intelligence. The person who's working, right, needs to make a decision and have time creating every day to invest in their financial education and have a plan to invest in an asset and start thinking about, you know, reaching passive income every day, how to receive money while they're sleeping, how we're going to create more income while without working by having assets. So we need to figure out what is going to be the first asset, which asset class we're going to go into first. I suggest to start with a business, digital stores, right maybe it's a product that you're passionate about build the brand around it and start we don't even need to have the physical product we don't need to even buy the product before we even send it to the customer we can do it right after they purchase it from us they make the order and then now we buy it from our supplier and we show you exactly how to do that inside of our digital courses so make sure you click the link in the description somewhere on this talk because it will help you understand more about building the assets column with real assets that are producing passive income and capital gains income to make a million dollars per year on cash flow, on positive cash flow, okay? On profit, pure profit, we need to have 2,750 plus per day coming in, okay? After all expenses are paid, that needs to be the amount in order for us to reach a million dollars, over a million dollars per year. So when we look at it, it's not that much because now we can focus, okay, how much are we making while we're sleeping today? And then start working your way up to that $2,750. Not many people want to make a million dollars. I mean, I don't know who doesn't, right? But a lot of people, they say they don't want to make a million dollars because they just have a button on the topic of money. But I mean, who doesn't want to make $1 million? So to understand how to make $1 million, you need to understand the basics of business and investing. That's exactly what we're doing here. And you need to focus on creating passive income 
that exceeds $2,750 per day. Okay, with systems, because a business is a system of systems. Remember, we can put the effort at the beginning to launch a business and so forth, but at some point that business has to run on itself. Otherwise, it's just a job. It has to create excess of cash flow without us being present because we have systems, we have people in there, if we need to have employees, etc. So that it can create freedom for us. That's why the business is solving a problem and because we're doing that successfully, it's going to give us the reward, which is total freedom through the excess of passive income. We can solve problems in the world by simply observing more and understanding the basics of how to do business. Digital currencies are simpler to access and trade than stocks, but a well-diversified stock portfolio often offers greater stability than cryptocurrencies. But here at Master Investor, we're gonna diversify among the five different asset classes that exist, not just one. Okay, that's our recommendation. Create passive income, focus on rule number one in our community, which is to work to build passive income and multiply money through sound investing. Okay, so focus on building businesses that produce passive income, acquiring businesses, even if they're already, it could be a real estate property that's already creating passive income, right? It could be 12 units, it could be 24 units, it could be three, two units, it could be four, five, six units, right? And we can start our way to financial freedom. We can start working towards that first milestone when we reach financial independence. That's when we don't have to work for earned income to pay for our bills. That means that we have assets that are paying for our bills and it's doing that constantly month in, month out. Okay, it's doing that the entire year. We're not worrying about running out of money because we have real assets that are producing enough passive income and capital gains income to cover all of our living expenses. And then from there, we're gonna focus on compounding the asset column to continue to build more passive income and tap into more total freedom. The more passive income that we have in capital gains income, the more options we can take and the more things we can manifest in the real world and the now and the present because we have the most important tool on this earth, money. Meme coins are often or are one type of digital currency that might only be valuable because people wish to possess them or cryptocurrency. If we are new to investing in cryptocurrencies, don't forget to exercise appropriate risk management and get competent financial guidance. Wealth and freedom is created on the right side of the cash flow circle as we can see on our screen right now. We are looking at the cash flow circle. If you're listening to a podcast and make sure you go to our youtube channel and watch the live stream or you can subscribe to our newsletter to have the article and you can see the cash flow circle and so forth because we are sharing their screen our screen on our live stream okay so on the left side of the cash flow circle we can see that the people are employed right these people that's what they become either an employee or self-employed so we tend to be set up to be on the left side of the cash flow circle due to the fact that in 1902, 1903, the Rock, uh, John D. Rockefeller established the General School Board, which General Educational Board, which is instilled a mission in it and basically asked to remove all financial education from the school systems and that the mission of the school system was to create employees and soldiers, okay? Employees that work for the corporation of the wealthy and soldiers that defend the corporation of the wealthy, which are the governments. So when we are growing up, we tend to be speaking the language of an employee and self-employed. That's what we've been taught. We, we weren't taught to become a business owner or an inside investor. And that those are the players found on the right side of the cash flow circle the business owner and the inside investor. They didn't teach us how to own and control businesses, how to create wealth and freedom, how not to work, how to be totally free from working for money. They didn't teach us that at school. 
because of the mission, because the schools were not created for that. And so now we have access to the information on our phones. Therefore, the school has become Google. And Google doesn't care whether we study to become wealthy or you study to become an employee. He gives us the information, right? The software gives us the entire information that we need, that we're seeking. And now we can also tap into mentors around the world, like we're doing now, through YouTube, podcasts, and different mediums that allows us to be in communication with people that are doing exactly what we want to do. So the decision ultimately lays on our lap and we need to take action to build our wealth, but it's easier than ever before because we can tap into unlimited wealth through high speed of sales, okay? The velocity of cash flow. And how do we tap into that? Is by first acquiring a cash flow and asset the next thing is to recoup the initial capital back that we invested. Number three, keep control over the asset. And if there's any debt on it, keep control over the debt, right? It's good debt, meaning that we borrow money to acquire the asset, we keep control over that. And if we put any money of ours down, we had already recouped it because the step two is recoup the capital back. And then four, move the cash flow from the asset into a new cash flow and asset. And number five, repeat the entire formula again. And that's how we tap into the velocity of cash flow and we would reach infinite return on investment when we recoup our money back from the investment. And we continue to control that investment and collect passive income or capital gains income from it. That means that it is money for nothing because we have no money of ours invested into that asset anymore. And it's still producing positive cash flow and sometimes capital gains income, whichever of the two incomes is going to bring to us. Okay, those are the two types of income that can come from investing in total. There are three types of income in the world. Earned income comes from a job or a salary, right? It's trading time for money, changing one's time for a paycheck. Okay, and then that type of income is taxed at the highest bracket. The rules and the business law and the tax code is not in favor to employees and self-employed because this country is built with the capitalist system. It's a capitalist country. Therefore, the highest level of an investor is a capitalist. That is an inside investor. That is a master investor. It's a capitalist. So make sure that we choose which side of the, right, of the car, cash flow circle we're going to live and operate from, okay? They both have different mindset. On the left side of the cash flow circle, the poor mindset governs these people. On the right side of the cash flow circle, the wealthy mindset governs our mind and our vocabulary and everything that we do. So two types of mindset when it comes to, the, to money. Poor mindset and wealthy. Poor mindset contains the lower class, the poor class, and the middle class. On the right side of the cash flow circle, the wealthy mindset contains the wealthy people, the wealthy class. And inside those wealthy people, a lot of them were in the poor class, in the middle class. Okay, so we must shift our mindset in order to create total freedom, in order to tap into ultimate wealth and understanding how to win the game of money. We need to start actively investing. Avoid giving the money away to somebody else to do it for us. Okay, that's not, we're not doing that. We're not gonna give ever our capital for somebody else to invest it for us. We're gonna actively invest it ourselves. And whichever asset class we want to learn about or we want to start investing, we're gonna invest into a seminar or a mentor that has knowledge on that asset class. A lot of times on the left side of the cash flow circle, we find people attempting to seek security and it's a fake security because the employer can fire the employees at any time without giving them any notice for no reason and there's nothing that the employee can do except to go look for another job and so that's not security isn't it i mean is it i mean is it security or is it not security what what is our thoughts on that right we need to ask this questions because that's how we're going to tap into having the right mindset 
which mindset do we want to carry? It's not about right and wrong. It's about which type of lifestyle do we want to live? On the right side of the cash flow circle, we seek and we attract freedom. We're doing the business owner and the inside investor. We're doing what we're doing to help other people's life become better. But at the same time, we understand in the back of our mind that our reward is total freedom. So choose wisely what are you seeking and what are you attracting, security, fake security, or you want total freedom. Our investments and businesses buys us other cash flow investments and pays for all our expenses. Use the cash flow tetrahedron to build true wealth. When we have financial education and we use the new rules of money, we can obtain everything for free due to the fact that we are applying the velocity of cash flow and reaching infinite return on investments investment in our investments. As true financial investors, we can make money without money because we can raise capital. In addition, we can make money from thin air or money for nothing when we have recouped our initial money invested back from the investment. The wealthy, the 3% of the population, we prioritize our expenses as follows. Number one, acquire assets. Number two, pay taxes, if any, because we use a lot of debt and we're investing for passive income. Therefore, the tax code allows us to minimize taxes all the way to zero in many instances legally. Number three, acquire liabilities. And we can acquire any type of liability because we have the ability to build or acquire any type of asset that will produce enough passive income or capital gains income to go ahead and pay for the liabilities expense. Our businesses buys other assets first and then pay taxes after, if any. Wealthy people buy or acquire assets first before tax dollars and pay zero in taxes in many occasions. Then we acquire liabilities by having the assets pay for the expenses of the liabilities. We can obtain everything for free. All is done legally using the tax code and corporate law and to our advantage. Also, we can simply use 100% of OPM or other people's money or debt, good debt, borrow funds to acquire the asset and have infinite return on investment from day one because we use other people's money or good debt to make the investment happen. Knowledge is power and money, but we must take action with the data we are learning daily for it to convert into knowledge for us. It doesn't mean because it is someone else's knowledge automatically is our knowledge. We must put it into practice in our lives in order to make it our knowledge. Then we will collect the rewards of power, money, and total freedom by applying knowledge into our lives, other people's knowledge, right? Because now it becomes our knowledge. Now we get the experience of that information being reflected on our lives. As we can see, we are looking at the cash flow tetrahedron, which is the setup of how we should begin to collect assets that produce passive income. So our businesses will eventually pay all of our living expenses, we'll pay for real estate acquisitions, we'll pay for paper assets and other assets. And the real estate also, uh, the income of the real estate will course pay other assets as well so we're recycling that surplus back into our assets column so we treat our surpluses as an expense for investing when we make a profit we already have a plan for that profit to be put into a sound investment so that it can produce more passive income or capital gains income depending on the asset that we're going to acquire Start investing in high quality financial education so that we have the type of understanding of how to build true wealth and minimize taxes all the way to zero. I hope that you learn some of the difference between crypto and stocks today, two different asset classes because stocks belong to the paper assets, asset class. Five asset classes, number one business, number two real estate, Number three, crypto. Number four, paper assets. Number five, commodities. Today, crypto is the new currency, is the new money in town. We must master it because it is going to help us become wealthy. Let me know if you have any questions. I appreciate you being part of Master Investor. 
get inside of our digital courses, you're welcome to get our ebooks on Amazon or Kindle. However, when you go to our website, you'll have additional bonuses and assets that will come with the ebooks if you decide to get it from our website. And we highly recommend you do because as we're moving forward, we're adding more assets into each digital course. And whatever ebook and digital course you obtain from our website, you will always be grandfathered in for any asset that we add into that digital course moving forward. So in a year, two, three, four, five years from now, that particular digital course is gonna be worth a lot more due to the value that we're adding into those courses. Exclusive interviews with wealthy entrepreneurs, new entrepreneurs, and anybody that can help us understand even more about that specific topic of each volume. I appreciate you being part of our community, bringing you the good and bad news of money, the business principles at work in all economies. Check out all the links in the description. I'll see you inside of our inner circle. Stay extraordinary and wealthy. Bye for now.